Hello, everyone. Right, so you were going to be getting my um, Starlight Driving Arena, like the first episode. May have uh, fucked up a little bit and fucked up the base, so it doesn't even work anymore. <laughs> I have to tear down the whole thing. And I'm not doing all of that in one day, so you get that video another time. Oh, look, a jumping flying Brahmin. So instead, if the title of the video didn't give it away, I'm going to show you how to make doorways with switches. Now, you may think this one is my example. That one doesn't work yet. I haven't finished. Let's go to the armory around the corner. So what I mean is, is this here. So, say door open. Close. Now it's open. You're inside. Close it. Open it. Close it. You get the idea. Um, now, a note on these ones is for this to work, you only can have one doorway for the entire building. Because basically, if I were to switch this off and go in here like this, it turns off the power from the outside so the idea big I, I quite like this actually is that you basically you can power it from the inside so you basically if i take this off again turn it on and then i'm outside because obviously that door that switch is always on if i'm just coming in from the outside i can basically just open and close it la di da di da but if i'm inside and i want to lock someone out that's it. And I like that quite a lot. I use it for my front... Well, I'm going to use it for my front gate. Because um, the idea being that basically someone can come to and throw. But if I want to, I can flip that switch there. And it locks everyone out. I also have it for my security gates yeah. there. Um, oh, by the way, the reason for the ghoul cage is I'm trying to capture Colin. But he keeps coming out as a charred ghoul. Right, now, note on this. Um, I have tried to call this a few times because I kept fucking up. Um, and then one time, because a police siren went by, it was really loud. Um, the good thing is, is I do know how to do this quite well. However, it's still really, really needlessly hard for me to actually explain in writing. So what I mean by that is just, if you're confused, watch the video. I'm not going to be able to explain it because it's going to take me a while to type out each time. So, so pay attention, basically, is what I'm saying. Right, so there's my doorway. Now, the way this is going to work um, is the one that's the switch on the inside basically cuts power from the switch on the outside. That, that's the way it works. Now, you're going to have, and this switch on the inside here is the only one that actually goes. So whatever switch you want, I mean, to be honest, normally I have that power conduit on the outside, but whatever, or inside. But this switch here is the only one that actually attaches to the doorway conduit, okay? Because when you turn off this switch, it just shuts power to the whole thing, right? Whereas this switch actually opens and closes the door, if you know what I mean. Um, that was the way that... So almost in a way, this switch doesn't actually open or close the door at all. All it does is power this switch. Right, okay. Cool, so. Firstly, I recommend doing the power side first. Just because it's a little bit... Well, it's the more straightforward one. So this switch here goes to that conduit there. Now, you want two ground. The way you're going to look at this is you're going to... I'm going to move this away a little bit so it's not too close. Is you're going to have two conduits on the floor. Um, and my recommendation... Well, actually, my goddamn order it, because someone will go, but the conduits look like shit, Davey. Pay attention. Fuck. Um, is uh, You have... Oh, that rug is going a bit loco, shaking around. Calm down, precious. Right, there we go. Um, Put them on the... Don't put them too close like that. No, that's never happened before. Make sure they're not too close, evidently. But put your conduits actually on rugs because it allows you to move them around. And you will need to be do this quite a bit because it helps you... Because you're going to be moving it from side to side. So basically, yeah, basically you definitely want them. Okay, so this one goes to here like this. Now let's pretend that this is obviously the outside. So this is where we have our conduit to the power. So this is going off to the side, you know, to wherever my generator is. Which is there, or let's say you have, I know, pylons, whatever the hell you want. So, this one is the first chain. So, I'm going to display this as I go. So, now we're going from. Oh, I wish I would have that. No, 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 no. It's got a bit buggy. I hate when it does that. Right, so this one needs to connect to this one here. So, now it's going from the generator to that conduit, which is not attached to the door, it's just placed on the door, down to the floor. You're now going to take. Oh, no, you're not going to take that one off. Then it goes down to the floor. Then it goes up to there and up to there. So now, 
This is not connected to the door yet. It's fine. <laughs> I forgot I haven't connected to the door yet. Okay, so now that's connected to the power. You need another conduit here, do you? Yes. Or actually, you can do it on a ground one. Either or, really. Let's do it on a ground one, because it's easier, and it means you don't have loads of conduits you can't hide. So now you need to connect this to this, and that's all you need to do. Oh, yeah. Like this. Hello, Preston. If you ask me you want to talk about that conversation again, I'm going to cut you. For fuck's sake, you keep saying, is it the time for enough for that conversation? No, Preston, it isn't. You twat. Right, so. Now you go down to the... So basically, think about it. I've wired this one up, yeah? So now this switch needs to go... To that bad fellow over there. You don't have to have this many conduits so you don't want to, it's just easier. Like that. Like that. So this is the outside. So I'm going inside now. Ooh. Hey, I did it. Oh, I'm so happy I did it. So that's basically how you do it. Obviously this make it confusing because it's not attached to a building. But basically I want to go outside again. And close the door behind me. It's also naturally gotten foggy as well, but fuck it, I'm not showing you a whole area. And so when I close this switch, because this is the inside, it's now depowered, that switch. Um, I know that's very confusing. If you get confused, just watch it again. It is really straightforward. If anything, just focus on powering this switch and then having it so you p then that power can cut off the power to that switch. But this switch here is the only one that actually connects to the door, okay? All right, anyway. I'll be doing the Starlight Drive-In Arena. Um, I'm doing a video um, every other day now because it just breaks up, gives me a break between each video and gives me time to prep them. Um, this one shouldn't be too late because it's not a very long one. Um, as always, any questions, uh, leave a comment in the description. I'll try and answer them if I can, but if some lovely person who doesn't get as easily confused as I do um, could maybe summarize this, I'd love you long time. Also, I've started, um, as you've already gathered already, I've started kind of tweeting kind of what I'm doing right now, kind of like snippets of some of my videos. So if you're ever curious kind of what I'm currently working on right now, either pictures or just kind of mini little 30 second tours, uh, follow me on Twitter at no Respawns. And I'll talk to you lovely people soon in a couple of days. Take care.